In the US, pond turtles are always taken for granted. They're seen as common, maybe minor sources of happiness. However, one of the most unique animals in the US isn't as resilient to change. The eastern box turtle is an incredible animal that many know as pets. However, as their habitat continues to change, the legacy of these turtles is not guaranteed. When you hear the word turtle, you usually think of semi-aquatic reptiles, but the box turtle is an exception to this rule. The eastern box turtle spends almost its entire life on land. However, it's not a tortoise. The eastern box turtle does best in wet environments and they belong to the family Imididae, which includes almost all pond turtles. The eastern box turtle is a very unique animal. They take a long time to fully mature and don't have many young. The eastern box turtle does best in deciduous and mixed forests with moderate rain. They can do well in grasslands and prairies as well. Over winter, they will usually dig a hole in the ground and brewmate till spring. The eastern box turtle's range stretches from southern Maine to northern Florida. Unlike other reptiles, the eastern box turtle has a very limited home range. They tend to stay in pretty much the same area their entire life. Box turtles have an extremely strong homing instinct and rarely go more than one and a half miles away from where they normally live. As you can see in the photo above, the black lines are resident box turtles with, with established territories, and the white lines are relocated box turtles. Relocated box turtles often wander for miles as they are unfamiliar with the territory. And as a result, box turtles that are moved away from a territory they know have a very high mortality rate. The reason eastern box turtles almost never leave their home range is for a very important reason, finding enough food to eat. As babies, their diet consists mostly of protein like slugs, worms, grubs, and beetles in order to help with their fast growth rate. As adults, they transition to a more plant-based diet consisting of weeds, fruits, grasses, mushrooms, and certain aquatic plants. These food resources can be scarce, but in a turtle's home range, they know exactly where they can find food and shelter. Since turtles aren't the fastest, they need to be able to know their home range and remember where food is. Box turtles have their name for a very specific reason. On the belly of the box turtle, also called a plastron, they have a hinge which allows them to completely cover their head and legs inside their shell. Because of this ability, the eastern box turtle has very few natural predators as an adult. As babies, raccoons, skunks, foxes, snakes, and birds of prey will all eat them. Coyotes will also prey on baby box turtles, but if a coyote is hungry enough, they have been known to be able to break the shell of mature box turtles. Come springtime, just as the turtles are coming out of brumation, they are ready to lay eggs. Mating season for the eastern box turtle can occur any time between early fall and late spring. However, eggs are usually laid in May and June. Females can lay a few clutches of four to nine eggs a year. The temperature of the nest will determine the sex of the babies. Higher temps will lead to more females and lower temperatures will lead to more males. After 50 to 70 days of incubation, the eggs hatch and the baby turtles are completely on their own. It takes almost 10 years for a baby eastern box turtle to mature and become ready to mate. Due to the eastern box turtle's long time to mature and relatively slow reproduction rate, they are very susceptible to changes in their environment. In Michigan, they are considered a threatened species due to busy roads splitting up their habitats, making it harder to find mates and increasing urbanization pushing out the turtles. These turtles can live up to 100 years old, but they usually only live for 40 years in the wild because they tend to get hit by cars. The Michigan DNR has been tagging box turtles to try to get a better understanding of how they live in order to better understand how to save them.